Okay, so I'll share my screen and we'll proceed for today. So what we are going to cover today, uh, sorry, stop sharing. Okay, are you able to see the screen? Yes. Okay. So. Uh, now, what we are going to cover today is snowflake related thing. Uh, up till now, what we have studied is, uh, hope you remember, um, we saw different features of snowflake, we saw snowflake UI, uh, starting with we saw the architecture. We saw the three layers of Snowflake architecture, the cloud services layer. The first one, which is uh, managed by AWS and sorry, managed by Snowflake, which include infrastructure management, authentication, authorization, metadata manager, and optimizer, which is managed by Snowflake itself. Um, on top of that, there is authentication and access control is defined. Uh, then we saw the second layer, which is query processing layer, where we have the virtual warehouses, which are nothing but the compute nodes. The query processing is also called as a compute layer. Um, and uh, the cloud services layer, also called as a metadata layer. Uh, which holds the metadata information. Third layer we saw is a database or storage layer where the actual data stores. These are the three components of the, uh, the Snowflake architecture. Then we saw uh, different platform, the cloud services, different cloud providers Snowflake can use. It is Amazon, Google, and Microsoft Azure. We saw different cloud regions, um, somewhat similar to what AWS and other cloud providers has. We saw different Snowflake editions, um, starting with standard, enterprise, and business critical, and a private. Private, uh, VPS, which is called Virtual Private Snowflake. Uh, then we went to different features of the Snowflake, uh, starting with we saw how multi-factor authentication is enabled on the Snowflake UI. Then we saw how we uh, log in with username and password. Uh, then we saw uh, single sign-on if it's an enterprise. Uh, the single sign-on is available and you can log in with that single sign-on. <clears throat> I don't have um, external Snowflake authenticator. I have not shown because we have not configured. We don't have that authenticator, but it's just authentication method, the way uh, it logins. Um, then uh, we saw... Uh, the label different roles right if you remember we saw uh, different roles like um, account admin organization admin public role or security admin sys admin and user admin do you remember this yes sir yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. Okay, uh, and you can switch the roles uh, to different role to get it into what user admin can do, what system admin can do, what account admin or... So 
يوم يوم بريك what account admin can do so these are all uh, the roles and on top of that you can create a custom role and use that custom role as well uh, okay then we saw there is a uh, access control different type of accesses you can manage on uh, a object of a database meaning uh, you can have access to Snowflake views, you know, procedures, and different accesses. You can manage that. Um, I'll just briefly cover that so that you are pretty clear on that. Um, and then further, we'll continue. Today's main topic is uh, data loading, how we get the data in the Snowflake. That's the today's important topic. <clears throat> So before moving to that, uh, uh, I want to create uh, one simple user. And I think we created last time, we created some user and gave the access uh, to it. We call it as a role-based access control. So you create a role and you assign the roles to the users and role has some capabilities. So for example, if I uh, go in account admin in the admin section, uh, you can see there are different roles. Uh, the Snowflake role and these are role. You can create a new roles. So if I switch on the roles, you can create a new role. Okay. And let's say BW, BW user, it's a role. Okay. And do you want to grant to a role or have inherit from some other role? Uh, if you don't, just create a new role. So I have created uh, this BW user as a role. Now it does not have any grants or any um, anything. So we need to assign it. So when you have this role, um, you can assign this role to someone, you can revoke this or manage the global privileges to it. So now I'm just managing the global privileges. What I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to give them access. These are the different privileges. What is the First, you create a role, a role ko a capability de, de rahe ho. Okay. What type of these are nothing but the capabilities. Uh, for example, I want to give uh, usage. So let me see which policy I can give to him. Let's say create database. I provided the access as create a database to this role uh, that I created. Okay. Similarly, if I just want to see sysadmin, what are the different uh, policies or, or it inherits? So you can see inherits from account admin 
and if you see uh, you can see these are the global privileges it has it has create database and create warehouse these are the two global privileges are assigned to it okay so role ko privileges assign ki jati hai and based on that privileges uh, it it is able to access it okay and yaha pe inherit hua hai uh, account admin hai account admin ke jo accesses hai usko carry forward hue so if i see the account admin privileges and go to the detail page so whatever the grants and other things are those are carry forwarded to the role which is created from account admin role okay now what about the database so if i go to this database and on this database you can see that there are accesses privileges you can add the privilege or i'll use the sample one sample data ko account admin hai uh, he is the owner and he also given the access as usage public ko usage access diya gaya hai and of to this database it is given the ownership access now let's create i am as account admin i'll just connect as sys admin and now i'm going to create a new database create a database okay ये डेटाबेस अभी मैंने क्रिएट किया बीडब्ल्यू डेटाबेस ये डेटाबेस को अभी प्रिविलेज क्या है सिस्टम एडमिन जो भी रहेगा दैट सिस्टम एडमिन इज ओनर ऑफ दिस डेटाबेस इफ आई स्विच माय रोल टू लेट्स से पब्लिक आई डोंट हैव एन एक्सेस टू सी और यूज फेच द डेटाबेस but if i have i am a system admin i can see the database right uske andar ka schema mein dekh pa raha hu ye samajh mein aaya why this is happening because sys admin has a privilege because he is the owner now i'm switching as jo humne role banaya tha uh it is not assigned to user that's why so i'll go to account admin we go to this i have a user i have the rules right i bw user hai ye bw user mujhe yahan pe kyun nahi dikha because जो यूजर है दिस इज अ रोल ये असाइन किसी को नहीं है सो आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू असाइन इट टू समन गोइंग टू असाइन दिस टू ओके आई ये जो यूजर है आर महाजन इसको मैंने ये रोल असाइन किया ओके सो नाउ आई एम विच यूजर मैं ये यूजर हूं ये यूजर को अभी लेट मी रिफ्रेश वी जस्ट असाइन द रोल एंड दैट यूजर इज नाउ एबल टू लॉग इन विद बी डब्ल्यू यूजर Which is a role basically. ये समझ में आया और ये रोल को डेटा बेस जो हमने बनाया उसका एक्सेस है क्या नहीं है करेक्ट आर यू सोफर विथ मी सो वॉट वी डिड वी क्रिएटेड अ रोल वी असाइन रोल टू अ यूजर ओके ये यूजर है ये यूजर को ये रोल असाइन किया बट ये रोल को एक्सेस नहीं है 
if this user wants to access our BW database, it should switch the role to sys admin role and then he will able to see the database or schema inside that agar ye dusra role switch karta hai uh, let's say he is switching the role as user admin he is not able to see the database why because that role does not have an access but user has that role so you need to switch to the proper role to be able to see that. So now, this access hai, sys admin ko access hai, ye database dekh sakke. Agar mujhe ye same user hai, okay, and ye user or ye role use karna hai, BW user role use karna hai, to mujhe kya karna padega? Can anybody tell? Mujhe same user, but ye role ke saath database dekhna hai. To kya karna padega? The answer is, I need to give an access to the database to BW role. So, Let's do that. I'll go to as uh, the system admin. Uh, I'll go to the uh, admin and roles. Uske andar, I'll go to the roles. Sorry, I'll go to the databases. I have BW database. BW database ko abhi, uh, sys admin is the owner. So I will add the privilege. I'll select the BW user as a role and usage as a privilege okay and i'm granting the privilege now i'll switch i'm as the system admin right now so i'll switch my role to bw user and now you can see that okay, let me refresh yeah can you see that bw database Ka usko access mil gaya. Correct? You got it? Yes, sir. Yes, so, sir. it's all driven by one user can have multiple roles and roles can have access. So, same user ko uh, access alag alag ho sakte based on its role. Okay? You got this? Yes. 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 Hello. Yes, sir. Then privileges alag alag ho sakte. So you have a usage Hello. privileges. Hello. Yep. Sir, it's a bit confusing. Can you repeat mm -hmm. it once? Yep. Let me uh, draw a diagram and explain to you. Or I'll use a draw dot I Hello, sir. Yeah. Sorry. 
sir in real time uh, which role we have to choose that's a good question so generally uh, when you get onboarded someone will already define uh, the role uh, to you and the role will be assigned to you jab aap bhi onboarding karoge some developer role or something will be already assigned to you you will not get sys admin or account admin role yes sir some user role or developer role will be created and that role will be assigned to you that means so it's very scenario to scenario matlab ha suppose aapko kuch database hai jab खाली फेच करना है तो दे विल गिव यूर रीड ओनली यूसेज रोल और रीड ओनली रोल टू यू आपका यूजर बनेगा पब्लिक लाइक पब्लिक यूल गेट अ पब्लिक रोल ओनली जिसमें आप खाली एक्सेस कर पाओगे डू यू वॉन्ट मी टू क्रिएट दैट लेट्स क्रिएट दैट सो दैट क्रिएट अ न्यू यूजर पिकली so मैं स्विच करता हूँ आई गो टू सिस एडमिन ओके एडमिन में मैं जाता हूँ एंड यूजर्स बनाता हूँ मैं आई थिंक आई डोंट हैव दिस नो शुड बी यूजर एडमिन ओके यूजर एडमिन गया नाउ मैं एडमिन हूँ ओके मैं नया यूजर क्रिएट करता करना चाहता हूँ लेट से बी डब्ल्यू बी डब्ल्यू रीड यूजर बी डब्ल्यू यू रीड यूजर बनाता हूँ मैं ई मेल आई जस्ट फुट दिस वन पासवर्ड इज okay i'm creating a user these are the additional names that i can give and it asks me default role what default role you want to pass to it so i say pass any role public role suppose okay and create so this got created i am just going to sign out now from this user i am going to sign in with the another user what was the name read correct that was the name So what was the name? Sorry. Ah, uh, just okay. Users. User read user. okay now you can see i can see only two databases because ye databases ko public user ne grant kiya tha you can see that uh, this user is publicly accessible and the, this databases are publicly uh, public ko usage role hai and that's why i'm able to see this otherwise i would not have seen these two databases correct बट इसमें बी डब्ल्यू यूजर नहीं है 
जो डेटाबेस बी डब्ल्यू डेटाबेस जो बनाया है हमने वो नहीं है क्योंकि उसको एक्सेस नहीं है एंड यू कैन सी दैट आई कैन हैव ओनली वन रोल आई डोंट हैव अनदर रोल ऐसा क्यों है बिकॉज जब वो यूजर को एक ही रोल असाइन किया इट्स माई डिफॉल्ट रोल तो आई कैन हैव एक्सेस ओनली दिस एक्सेस ठीक है तो रियल प्रोजेक्ट में अगर मैं डेवलपर हूं तो दे विल जस्ट क्रिएट अ डेवलपर रोल विल असाइन मी द डेवलपर रोल एंड डेवलपर रोल को जो भी एक्सेस है डेटाबेस का उतना ही एक्सेस रहेगा आई डोंट हैव एडमिन एक्सेस आई कैन नॉट क्रिएट अ यूजर आई कैन नॉट नथिंग जस्ट आई कैन क्रिएट अ क्वेरीज इवन आई कैन नॉट क्रिएट अ डेटा बेस प्रॉब्लम आई कैन क्रिएट स्कीमाज ऑन दिस थिंग्स बिकॉज आई हैव अस द एक्सेस बट अदर देन दैट I don't have any other access on other databases. ठीक है ये समझ में आया तो ये भी यूजर है नाउ आई वॉज अबाउट टू एक्सप्लेन बाय आर डायग्राम तो वॉट वी सॉ वी हैव फर्स्ट थिंग विच इज your uh, user then each user has different roles let's say role one role one hai um developer role two hai qa रोल थ्री है लीड सपोज आई एम जस्ट मेकिंग एन एग्जाम्पल एंड बैंक मैनेजर ये अलग अलग रोल है सो दिस इज यूजर वन these are the different roles that uh, or users you have and there are different roles so kya hota hai this user 1 is your developer but ye jo user hai ye user 1 uh lead bhi hai team lead bhi hai so he will have uh the two role assigned to him then user 2 jo hai hamara user sorry user 2 jo hai this user 2 is a bank manager so he will have only one role assigned which is the bank manager role okay uh similarly we have a user 3 which is just a qa usko testing karna hai khali so he will have only the qa role now to each of this roles that we saw each of this role has different capabilities so jaise ki developer role hai it will have a capability 
of बैंक डीबी नाम का एक डेटाबेस है तो उसमें वो यूसेज है उसको ही कैन यूज दैट डेटाबेस ओके दिस इज द कैपेबिलिटी Assume that I just have only three uh, user, तीन user के ये roles है अलग अलग role है एक user multiple role share कर रहा है यहाँ पे and each role has some capability. इस पे usage bank DB, he can use the bank DB. Usage मतलब क्या ये create कर सकता है delete कर सकता है update कर सकता है all the access he has. But when it comes to uh, the access for QA, QA ko jaruri nahi hai, wo create, update kare. I'll just give you the read on read on bank DB. Okay. Ye jo tech lead hai, isko bhi main usage privilege de raha hu. Usage on bank DB. Okay. But jo bank manager hai, I'll just give the instead of read only for bank manager, I'll give a write on DB. It is admin access nahi rahega, but wo write data update kar sakta hai. That's the he cannot create a table, he cannot create a database and other thing, but he will able to only uh, write in the database, delete and write. He cannot create so. Any DDL he cannot do, all the DML he can do. Okay, so that's how I segregated. So one user, multiple roles. You can switch the roles to do the things because you will have uh, the access based on the your role to the database. Okay, or I can also here say admin. So team lead has also the admin access on the database just to differentiate between the accesses. You samaj me aya? You got it? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. So that's how user role capability. And this is consistent in any of the RBAC thing, role-based access control. Uh, aapka user rega user ko role assign hoga and role ko capabilities or privileges hai, wo assign rega. So that's how it works. Okay. Let's go to Snowflake now and I'll log in with the other uh, user. <coughs> ओके आई एम बैक विद दैट यूजर नाउ हम लोग क्या देख रहे हैं डेटा लोड एंड अनलोड हाउ वी कैन लोड द डेटा एंड हाउ वी कैन अनलोड द डेटा फ्रॉम द स्नोफ्लेक सो फॉर दैट आई हैव इंस्टॉल एंड कॉन्फिगर्ड द स्नो सीक्वल Okay, uh, I can use anything like
So here um, I use uh, Ubuntu and there I have configured the source snow stick well. Um, let me see. Have you installed NoSQL on your machine? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, let me get the new thing. And... I'll increase the font. And Snow SQL, I'm just writing A, A stand for account. And this is my account name. How do I get the account name here? If you browse here at the bottom, um, you'll see uh, this user. And there are two things to it. One is the organization and you have the account number and you have the locator, okay? So I just copied the account number uh, from here, copy account identifier uh, and use that identifier uh, here and paste it. So this includes the org ID and uh, the account identifier. I just log in it. Okay, so I logged in. And you can also pass the other parameters like what role you want to use and what database uh, you want to use and which virtual, uh, sorry, which schema you want to use. So right now I just, uh, can anybody tell me when I logged in with RH Mahajan, this user, which role it is logged in with? Can anybody tell? role say login because you can see this user has multiple roles correct but all out of all these roles konse role say login kiya usne? account admin account admin how do you know that it is logged in with account admin default. correct no, because it's a default one and can I change that? I mean, can I log in? Jab log in karta hon, tab main role de sakta hon kya? Yes. So, uh, let me. Let me exit out of it. At login with the other uh, other role uh, and I, I also want to use this some different virtual warehouse okay so let's log in with the other one I'll just open the new one uh, new Ubuntu settings I can have it duplicate or
So here I can say rule and the rule that I want to select is this admin suppose. Now in this sysadmin role, I also want to choose the virtual warehouse and databases. So let's see what are the virtual warehouse I can use. So I have a compute WH as a virtual warehouse and uh, I want to use the database also and schema, all the things I can specify. Okay, how do I know what things I can specify though? If you if you just type Snow SQL or just help on the Snow SQL, you'll see these are the different parameters uh, that you can pass. So, कौन कौन से so कौन कौन से parameter में pass कर सकता हूँ? Uh, so I can pass a account jo hum pass kar rahe then u username then d database s schema r role w warehouse and host agar if it's the different host that we can pass host and port and region uh, if it's a multi factor authentication we can pass the multi factor authentication any proxy server uh, you are using that's what we you can pass uh, to it. Um, you can also pass the query to be executed directly uh, without uh, login. Generally, a batch may use kiya jata hai. So that's what we can use. So I'll, I'm going back to Snow SQL. I'm using as a role sys admin uh, and for right now, I'm just logging with this. And you can uh, select the warehouse here. So you just type use compute underscore WH. Okay. And you can. Object what use. Use warehouse of good edge. Oh, you already using it. So use database. These are the three databases I'm choosing. This one. So now you can see that the database is populated. Now you want to also use the schema. Use schema. I. And these are the different schemas that I have. I'll just use this one, SF1, okay, enter. And you are using the schema. I'll just type select star from, and I have, let's see, konsa table hum use karte. So similarly, my UI may be jata. UI may be I'm just selecting sysadmin. Sysadmin may database may use kar raha hu. Uh, this one. Us may be ye schema use kar raha hu. And within that, I have these many tables. So rows, I'll just use nation table. So that compute warehouse is in suspended state. Yeah, uh, let me see usage.
now it started the reason it is doing because when i submitted it is it was not running so right now it should accept the queries compute wh is active the same one compute wh Warehouses. Let me try here. Okay, it means this warehouse is up and running. Uh, when I'm here also, I have selected the Compute WH, it is available. Uh, and same thing, role is sysadmin. Okay, let me see the role. Hello, sir. Yep. Uh, can you check it for uh, account admin role? No. So we are using sysadmin role. Sysadmin role. But used uh, on UI, uh, we are selecting uh, account admin, I think so. Okay. Let me check. Let me switch to sysadmin. Can actually from sysadmin? Oh, yeah. sysadmin uh, no data assign... Yeah. So sysadmin yes, does not have an access to that one. Um, I can have, I don't want the account admin role to use. Let's give the sys, let's go to the virtual warehouse, uh, account admin, and go to the admin. Uskiliye active nahi hai. So this, Virtual warehouse is does not have a permission. Privileges account admin is the owner. Okay, sys admin here. So I'm going to give permission to sys admin. Uskili active or role ke liye active nahi tha. And I'm going to usage privileges to it. So it should work now. Okay, so uh, the thing was that uh, sysadmin does not have an usage privilege on warehouse and that's why 
in the list it was not showing okay so sys admin ko maine access diya usage access on that warehouse so pehla database ka access tha which we already gave but compute ka access nahi tha so now we gave the access to the compute as well so that it can run uh, with that accesses okay so now iska benefit will always use the sys admin role for now uh, iska benefit kya hua now let me uh, write some query and use this in a backend so ye backend mein kaise use karta hai so you write something on your shell script or you write something uh, in your bash file uh, with no sql command to run and just execute query directly so you need not to connect it uh, directly just have the quali fully qualified path and query and use it so let's see how we can do that so open an, one more new session in this session i am just writing this i want to roll as sys admin ye role mein use kar raha hu on which database i want to use uh, the database name is snowflake sample data then what sorry then on this database which schema do you want to use i want to use uh, tpch sf1 this is my schema that i want to use uh then what virtual warehouse you want to use on put wh is the warehouse we want to use and what is the query you want to execute so i say uh select start from nation is the query which i want to execute so in single command line i'm giving and it's producing the result to me okay uh, all 24 lines of result is generated and shown here so that's how it will connect now it is it asked me the password so batch mein kya hoga ye password puch raha hai so should i use the, always a password or not how to avoid that using a password let's see this one okay so iske liye how to avoid that if you go to your home location there is the config file on your home there is a snow sql cd dot snow sql and there is a config file so it's me a config file right there <clears throat> In this config file, uh, you have the connections specified. So here you have, uh, just a minute, I'm getting some information. Yeah. So you have uh, account name, you have username and password. You can specify all this. all this permission at once is this connect so go to editor mode uh, after going to editor mode i'm just going to delete 
providing account number properly then this password i'm going to provide then dp name so my database then schema This is my schema name. Uh, role is also a role name. Okay. And warehouse name. Okay all the things i provided here and right and quit so that i don't have to provide it separately now how do i connect to snowflake just type snow sql and c c stand for connection uh what's the connection example is the connection and you can see that you already connected. Can you see that? I don't have to type a password here. It is taking the password from that configuration file. Okay. Now I can, I want to uh, execute, uh, let's say, <clears throat> once I, yeah, I think any question till now? Are you so far with me? Yes, sir. Yes, okay. Sir. It's a basic thing. We just connected. Uh, we saw two methods. We have password. We have to store the password configuration file. Mein store kiya, and that config file is. Uh, at home location for the user so it's not going somewhere else okay now real project me kaise hoga ye developer use karega aise developer use karega real jo batch project hoga usme to vault se fetch hoga and then automatically it will be fed into the command line or something right that that thing will continue Okay, uh, now if I want to run a query, so I can just write simply here. Uh, okay, I just uh, wrote uh, snowflake minus C, uh, the connection name which I gave and uh, the query and it gave me the result uh, of that query. Okay. Uh, now, now this is we are printing. We can also do the export of it and how to do the export. This is the basic queries we are executing, getting the result out of that. But we can get uh, the export and other thing out of that. Now, I'm switching the gears to our main topic, which is... Uh, data load and unload so what we are going to do is first we have two categories i'll choose uh, this one uh, two categories we have first one is uh, what we are going to see is data loading And second, we are going to see data unloading.
Okay. Uh, these are the two topics we are going to see. Now, inside uh, the data loading, there is a subtopic that we want to see. It's batch load. Or we call it as a bulk load. And uh, the second one which we are going to see is uh, streaming. Okay, and here we we'll use snow pipe. Okay, to load the data, these are the two methods generally we use. Uh, one is a batch data load, second is the streaming data load or a data load where we see uh, create a snow pipe and we load the continuous data load. Uh, out of that, uh, we'll see the first one is a uh, batch data load. Now, in order to load the data in the Snowflake, uh, there are certain stages created, okay? Uh, first of all, I'm dictating what is the stages uh, that are created. Um, there are two types of stages that created. Let me write it here. external stages and internal stages. External stages uh, are the stages where data, uh, you are loading data from any uh, cloud storage services, external st cloud storage services. For example, uh, AWS S3, or you are loading the data from Google uh, bucket, what we call it cloud storage, or you're loading the data from uh, Azure, where the data is stored, stored on the Azure side, the blob storage. And you want to load the data from that external location to the Snowflake. That's where uh, we use the external stages, okay? And some there are certain internal stages to import the data in the Snowflake, create a stage, and then use that stage to load the data to the Snowflake table. Apne red ship beka red ship me kese hota hai ki you get that data and then you load that data to uh, red ship. If it's the data is stored on the S3 and just you are querying it, uh, then that data that you call it as a external external storage, but access through red ship. Similarly, in uh, a snowflake, we can have the data from our external sources like S3, uh, Google Cloud st Storage. Or from Azure. Okay, and there are internal stages. So you import that data in internal to the snowflake. Uh, Yahape with thin type uh, Snowflake maintain the data in three different type of stages. So uh, it depends on which one you use. So first one is a user's 
stage. Second is table stage. And third is the name stage. Name stage. These are the three different type of stage. Internal stages are there. Okay. Yeah, the clear. Hai? So we are looking exactly. at data loading. Within the data loading, there are two options. One is the batch data load and streaming. Uh, we have different and stages may be common for streaming and uh, bulk load, but I just arrange it this way. Then you have internal stages and external stages. External stages can be S3, GCP, or Azure, or your local, or whatever. Uh, so internal stages can be your user, table, and name stage. Yeah, the clear. Eh? Any doubt? Are you good so far? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, now, what is the uh, user stage? User stage generally um, it's allocated to each user for storing the file on the internal internal to the Snowflake. Uh, and this stage is uh, stores the file uh, at stage and managed by single user. So, वो share नहीं होता. एक user का stage उसी user के पास रहेगा. It is not shared. And you can build multiple table out of single stage. मतलब there is a file called let's say employee dot csv you imported into internal stage and you can create multiple tables out of that internal stage okay and this user stage cannot be altered or drop you cannot drop or alter the stage because it's the read only data in the stage uh, which is obvious uh, you don't want to make the changes to the, in the staging second type of stage is a table stage uh, Pele stage ka limitation kya tha? It is not shareable the, among the user. But now, you want to share among the user. So, next type of stage is the table stage. Jaha pe, uh, the table stage is available for each table created in Snowflake. So, one-to-one -one relationship. If Snowflake ka table bana hai aapne employee, to employee naam se related or internal stage rayega, uh, which is, will be a table stage. Uh, this stage is uh, designed to store the files that are staged and managed by one or more user. So they can manage by one or more user and uh, a single stage can load a single table. Why? Because it's a table stage. Dono mein difference samaj mein aaya? User stage and table stage mein. User stage a, can create a multiple table, multiple snowflake table. Table stage can create only one table. User stage cannot be shareable. Table stage cannot be shareable among the users. Ye difference hai. And both stages cannot be uh, alter or draw. Okay, are you good so far? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, and this is implicit stage, uh, by default create hoti hai. the table stage has uh, no grantable privilege on its own. Now let's move to the third type of stage, which is the name stage, which is most commonly being used. A named internal stage in database, uh, it created as an object in the database. Meaning you can see, uh, let me show that to you. What are the, you know, uh, in one lecture, mein dekha tha, Object and database is object. View is
Yep, you can see table views stages. Stages is also an. Uh, are you able to hear me? Yes, sir. Okay, there was a network connection message to me. That's why I asked. So, ye object hai. Table be object hai database ka view be object hai stages be object hai. So, what they are saying internal stages are created in the schema. Okay, sorry, name stages are uh, internal uh, stage that which get created as an object of a database. Uh, and this stage, uh, this type can store files that are staged and managed by one or more user and can load into one or more tables. So, do no user stage or टेबल स्टेज का कॉम्बिनेशन है और दोनों बेनिफिट हमें यहां पे मिल जाते हैं बिकॉज़ नेम स्टेज आर द डेटाबेस ऑब्जेक्ट दे हैव एबिलिटी टू क्रिएट एंड मॉडिफाई यूज ड्रॉप एंड टू गिव द सिक्योरिटी प्रिविलेजेस टू इट एंड अदर थिंग ओके दैट्स अ बेनिफिट ऑफ द स्टेजेस वी कैन हैव so right now there are no name stages but we can create the name stages um, and we'll see let me show you if there are any already predefined no no Okay, you can create a new stage and use those stages. There are no views also. No worries, we can create a thing. Now, uh, let's continue on uh, the data load. We'll see some sample file and load the data. Um, any questions so far? No. So what are the file formats that are supported for load? Uh, we can load CSV, PSV, JSON, Avro, I mean both structured and semi-structured data we can load. Okay, let me write it here. So the file uh, or the data load can be tab separated value unstructured or semi structured i would say semi structured data just like json we can load avro we can load orc what type of uh, ORC file format is. Can anybody tell? ORC or Parquet, what type of file formats is there? What type of data store is that? Columnar storage. Yep, yeah, it's a columnar store, and that's why it's classified as a semi structured data. And we can also load the data from that. Those files to uh, the snowflake. Okay, now let's 
create a named file format and use that uh, named file format okay uh, before that uh, i just want to show you how we can see the different stages uh, if i want to list all the different stages for example uh, if i want to see in my database what are the uh, created user stages as i'm a user how i i, sh I can look at um, looked at all the user created stages how i can look at all the uh, table stages and how i can fetch all the name stages uh, before creating uh, just want to uh, get that information to show so there there is a way in which we call the stages and list the stages uh, let's see that So in order, if you are calling, uh, let me, where is that? List is the keyword that we use and uh, Okay, this gives me uh, if there there is anything listed the user stage uh, uh, or any right now we don't have any user stage and that's why we don't see it here but if there are any stage created user stage is available we can see in the listing uh, right now i don't see it uh, but we can create and see the list that that we want to use so let's see uh, what are the other list we can use other type of data loading list or stages we can see okay uh, as as we mentioned the important is the name stage and which is frequently used uh, and that name stage is something that you will be always be using the benefit of name stage is kya benefit hai? Uh, it can be shareable uh, plus it can create multiple tables for you so i'll go to the there is option first i'll want to show you through uh, a ui so i'll go to the admin and i can go to a data
data and i have database select database under the database selecting the schema You see, I'll just switch to account admin. I don't see just a minute database. I have AD database not cancelled. Just give me a minute. I'm not able to see. Default is account admin. I'll just use probably the one that I already have. This database, I'll select new schema. Okay, I don't have an access on because this database is owned by Snowflake. They don't allow uh, to do the changes to it. And you can see that. Uh, so I just use the schema BW database. Within that, I have an access to create a schema. If I select the schema, I have the access to create a stage here. And uh, you can see I can create a external stage, which is coming as S3. So let's first create an external stage. Okay. And then we'll switch to the manage, Snowflake manage stage, internal stage. So first I'm going to create a external stage and I'm going to define this stage name. And this is S3. And I need to give uh, the S3 URL. Let me log in and get the URI. So I'm just going to log into AWS console. I need to give the account ID and other details to it.
I don't have a data. Let me download some data. So does anybody use this Kaggle uh, site? This is good to get the sample data. Does anybody know about this site, Kaggle? Yes, sir. So for some sample, short amount of small data so you can use this site so which has some data sales data I'm just uploading this file. Now, oh, this is the S3 URL. Okay. Uh, any authentication is configured, then you need to get this, any encryption, and this will be the preview of the stage. Create external stage, this is the thing, and uh, everything is configured, uh, directory enabled. So we need to give an access to the bucket. Right now, we're just creating uh, Let me add the key ID and secret key here so that it get configured. Okay, so create and your S3 external stage is created. Okay, this, this is the thing which is created. I think. 
think I made a little mistake here. Uh, I should. And what is the other way? So in this stage, you can also create this using the code. Okay. Code se bhi kar sakte. How? How we can create it? Uh, we can create. Right now, it does not show any files. Go here and edit. I'll just add it to this. And you can see that uh, this is the SQL preview of that. I'll copy this and save. Okay. So this is the external created and it says that there is a file at this stage. Okay. So that's how I created the stage. And if I want to create it by code, so this is the code with which I can create. I just alter, uh, let me get the create stage. It's create stage, stage name, and you have a location, create external stage, sorry. Let me recreate just to have it uh, with in BW and oh, this admin role. Okay, I'll I'll drop and recreate it just to sh show the uh, this thing. I want to create a stage, a external stage coming data from S three. I'll yes. name it S three external stage. Provide the S three path. I'll grab the path from here. <clears throat> this is the bucket that I use so I'll copy the bucket name and I also want to authenticate authenticate with instead of storage integrator I want to authenticate with access key and secret key. So I copied here. This this is my secret key. This is my access key. I can also use the IM. Uh, and this is the code. So I'll just copy this one. So create stage, stage name, URL, your path of S3. If it's a prefix, we can add the prefix and credentials, the AWS access key and secret key. Uh, if there is any uh, directory enable to scan it automatically, it's a true. Uh, if it's a file, we can just skip that. And this stage is created. Now you can fetch the data, this is the name stage, or external stage created, okay? Uh, now, these are the stage details on which region it is, who is the owner of this. You can go to the worksheet, and this is my code. Uh, 
to create it. For right now, I'll just comment all this code because we already created it. Okay, are you so far with me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, yes, sir. Uh, after creating this external stage, we want to fetch the data. Okay. We generally data loading me kya hota hai? Uh, we copy this data is available and this is in the external stage. We can query this data. Uh, let me show you how we can create a snowflake table out of this. Abhi tak data kaha pe? S3 pe. But we can fetch that data in Snowflake. Let's get that command querying uh, the staging. Hello. Which database it is this correct? Uh, no. We have in BW database, we have role I need to switch. Sys admin role needs Amara. Uh, I think it's account admin, right? And not public BW schema. Uh, hello, so when we load the data, at that stage level, there is a function that load the data. Can you just load there? We have to write a query for it. Yeah, uh, just a minute. We can also load it directly. Right now, this is this data. Why the compilation error? Just give me a minute. Uh, I think. Sorry, what your question? When we create a stage for the S3 location, mm -hmm. then at that uh, stage level, there is one option that load into table. Yes, yes. So can we so, just load there only or we have to write a query for it? Yeah, we'll have to write a query. Uh, let me show you that diagram, uh, how it works. So see. So anything, uh, yeah, this is official document. So anything is an external stage. You created this stage now, okay? Now, in order to create a snowflake table, you need to write into copy into statement, okay? And then it will create a table into your table in the snowflake. So right now, it's still here. It's here meaning it is just a definition. Actual data is stored in S3. It is just create a definition. When I fetch it, it will fetch from this location, not from Snowflake. But now I want to copy it into the Snowflake table or create into Snowflake. When I say copy, it actually creates a micro partitions. That's where it will create, it's going to create a micro partitions. Okay, up till now here, there are no micro partitions. 
okay so what i i'm showing right now is uh, how i can tables or external stages okay that's what i'm trying to show <clears throat> Just a minute, um, very And we also saw the listing of uh, the stages. So for example, here uh, we went and see how many different stages I have, or I can look at uh, the database and schemas here uh, and see in the schema, what are the different. Now it is created as an, an object and I can see the definition of this, table okay i can also use the staging integrator in order to connect to the uh, directly to the s3 without uh, using the uh, secret key and other thing Let me go back to here. What was the name? Worksheet this and so it tells me that I'm just listing with the at the rate at the rate is use me the information about the name stage so what it tells uh, these are the files under that stage location this is the file size this is the when this stage is created uh, if there are multiple files it will give me the multiple files under uh, that uh, particular stage okay Now what we'll do, uh, we need to create a file format. Abhi mujhe kaise pata chalega, ye stage hai. I want to query this data. But how I know which file, if there are multiple files here, how do I know from which file I need to read the data? For that purpose, I need to create a file format. Just before that, creating a file format, I want to see what type of data how the data is arranged there it's the csv or this is the data it has the header into it and these are the values uh, it looks like this data is a csv if i'm not wrong So you can see this data is comma delimited, which contains the header. So in order to read this, I need to create a file format. Okay. So I'll just create a file format first to read this file. What type of fo format is, is S3 external stage file format type is um, CSV. Okay. 
field Till uh, delimiter is CSV, so it should be a comma. And this will be also created as an object. So, PW schema account admin, this file will delimiter. Okay, so this sales file format is created. Um, then I create a stage The file format which we created is a sales format. <clears throat> and just want to get the first column out of it. Okay, so what I'm doing here, uh, first of all, we stage create. Kiya. Stage create karne ke baad, mujhe, wo jo file hai, how do I know that, how do I query, uska, uh, format pata hona So then I created the file format. And then while fetching the data from external stage, I apply the file format, the created file format. So where data kaha pe abhi hamara? Data is not in Snowflake yet. Data is still in S3 or S3 se hum fetch kar rahe. And then it is showing on Snowflake. Data is not yet into the Snowflake. Or Snowflake table create nahi hua hai. Bhi kar. Ye samaj mein aaya? Are you so far with me? Yes, no. Yes. So, abhi, just want to repeat. Abhi tak humne kya kya? S3 pe file rakha. Phir humne kya kya? Snowflake mein ja ke register kya definition banaya. Snowflake ko bola ki ye bucket hai. Yaha pe tumhari file hai. Next kya karna hai? Fetch karne ke liye. Snowflake को बोलना पड़ेगा कि data कौन से format में है, 
So then we created a file format. Then uh, we still the data is in S3. Hum fetch kar rahe. So in order to fetch the external stage, hum kya karte? add the rate sign use karte. Because how do we it will identify a table hai ya stage? Hai. So iske liye we use the add the rate. Add the rate and add the rate is used for name stages. Okay. Abhi tak humne user stage ya fir uh, table stage nahi dekha hai. We are looking at a name stage. Third option jo tha wo dekh rahe. And usme se hume fetch karna hai. To iske liye humne file format apply kiya. Apply the file format while fetching the data from this stage. Use this file format. Ye file format kya hai? It is a CSV and it is a delimited by pipe and it's fetching that data and showing on the screen. That's what it's happening. Abhi tak data snowflake mein nahi hai. Now, uh, after this, we will copy this data into snowflake. So, let's create uh, the statement copy. The one which I'm highlighting here, um, this one. Abhi tak data yaha pe hai, aur yaha pe humne warehouse se query kiya khali, just to show the data is there. Now we want to create it into the table. <coughs> so how we do that? We just write a copy statement, copy into, and then we'll create Oh, before that, we need to have, we can create a table or populate the table on the fly itself. <clears throat> Copy into, I'll say, sales data. From kaha se? State se. This is my stage. Okay. And we can also define the file format here. Let's define the file format. Okay, now Sales data, I think we need to, we should create uh, this table uh, definition in our Let me see that file.
let me say 50 okay. table table name certain definition So we need to specify column names inside bracket. Curly bracket. Oh, sorry. Sorry. So we need to specify those column names inside brackets. Order number. No, just a minute. Uh, uh, let me see. I have uh, this table created. Just want to load from file format that we created. Uh, it has one row, but it has around 25. I don't want to. So, yeah, I just want to use, just want to get the uh, or continue. Okay, uh, I just want to use one column only and proceed with that. Uh, load fail. Let's see the table. Loaded because it is not it failed in the load on error. <clears throat> Let me get it fixed. I don't want to use all the columns to get loaded every time. Mm -hmm. Just a minute to this file. Oh, that is on S already on S3.
add file so I'm not changing anything All the files as error. Uh, see. Refresh. So now the data is in the, I think I should add the skip first row in the file format. Uh, there are options in the file format to skip the first row. So it will take first row as an header instead of providing it. So this data right now from stage, it is come to the table. If I delete the data on the S3 and still I able to fetch the data in the table because it's already loaded into the table. But if I delete the data from stay from S3 and try to fetch here, let me show you that I'm fetching here from stage. So you can see that I'm able to fetch the data from stage. What I'll do now, I'll delete the data from S3. So this is the S3 location. I'll go here and delete it from S3. See what happens. Uh, delete. Okay, I delete the object. There is no object right now. I'll go back to S3 and in the staging, I'm trying to fetch now. So when I fetch the data, I don't get any data. Why? because the staging at the S3 is deleted, but I will have this data into the this sales table. Still, I have this data because now this data is in Snowflake, okay? So if I want to list the stages, I can list this, still I can list the stages because uh, it's a definition. I don't see any file here because there is no file in the stage, but the definition is already there on the schema. If you see the stage definition is already there. When I view this definition, I can see what this is as, what this file is, what the, the storage details, I can see this. The reason probably this may not see, yep, right? This is deleted because it is trying to fetch the files from that location and there are no files. That's why this is deleted. The definition, it's still there, okay? And the data is still there in Snowflake table because uh, we we'll copied the data and loaded the data into the Snowflake table. After that stage is deleted, it doesn't matter to us. And this stage is a shared stage. So it's a name stage. Why it's name stage? Because uh, when we created that, it is shareable among the users. It is, uh, it is shareable among the user and you can load multiple tables out of that stage. The other benefit of name stage is you can selectively choose some columns and load those columns as well. That's the second benefit of name stage has. User stage and table stage has limitations that uh, if it's a user stage, it's not shareable. It's a table stage. You can only load only one data, even though it's a shareable. So generally name stage is the prominent and which is generally used. 
<clears throat> Any questions? Now, how do I do the same thing using uh, the Snow SQL? Snow SQL me agar karna hai, to nothing. You just copy the same statements that you have and create run those statements on um, through the Snow SQL. Right? Yaha pe aap same statement run kar sakte ho. Jo apne copy kiya. Any questions? Hello. Yeah. So not understand that query. Like... Uh, not understand. Uh, external stage query. Select dollar uh, one. Ah, okay. So, uh, ye query jo kya karta hai? Aapka data external storage mein S three pe. Ye kya bol raha hai? Aapka data S three pe hai. Okay. करेक्ट तो मुझे पता नहीं कि कॉलम 1 कौन सा है कॉलम 2 कौन सा है तो मैं डेटा फेच कर मैं टेबल सर्कल सिलेक्ट करना तो कैसे लिखूंगा सिलेक्ट कॉलम नेम फ्रॉम टेबल नेम एंड आई विल एबल टू फेच दैट आई कैन सी सिलेक्ट स्टार आई विल एबल टू फेच दैट बट मुझे फाइल से डेटा उठाना है तो एंड दैट इज इन द स्टेज सो आई रेफर इट एज अ स्टेज सो सिलेक्ट डैश डैट समथिंग फ्रॉम स्टेज तो स्टेज में से कौन से फाइल फाइल का फॉर्मेट क्या है तो आई गे क्रिएटेड अ फाइल फॉर्मेट अबो एंड फाइल फॉर्मेट सेल्स फाइल फॉर्मेट नाम का है तो वो दिया यहां पे मैंने कौन सा कॉलम उठाना है सो डॉलर 1 फर्स्ट कॉलम गिव मी द फर्स्ट कॉलम सेकंड कॉलम थर्ड कॉलम ऑटोमेटिकली वो देगा जब यहां पे डेटा फेच कर ये क्वेरी जब एग्जीक्यूट होता है ये क्वेरी एग्जीक्यूट होता है इट गोस टू एस3 फाइल और फाइल से फेच करके हमें दिखाता है वर्सेस अगर मैं लिखता हूं सिलेक्ट स्टार फ्रॉम सेल्स डेटा ये स्नोफ्लेक में जाके जो माइक्रो पार्टीशंस में डेटा है वो उठा के हमें यहां पे दिखाएगा दैट्स अ डिफरेंस बिटवीन दिस टू एंड सो दिस प्री लोड टू स्नोफ्लेक दिस इज पोस्ट लोड टू स्नोफ्लेक हेलो यस एंड सर इफ यू हैव मल्टीपल फाइल्स इन एस3 देन uh how will Let's... i know that which file is it which means which file yeah. is getting added okay that's a good question agar multiple files hai and multiples file ka uh file format alag hai koi csv hai koi psv hai ya fir even though file format is same ah, yes. but uh you have a uh, structure is different in that case how to identify कौन से फाइल से रीड करना इन दैट केस यू कैन स्पेसिफाई द सॉरी इन दैट केस यू कैन आल्सो स्पेसिफाई द व्हिच पर्टिकुलर फाइल यू वांट टू लोड और यू वांट टू फेच द डेटा फ्रॉम ओके सो सर इज देयर एनी लाइक स्पेसिफिक क्वेरी फॉर दैट यस यस देयर देयर इज देयर आर डिफरेंट क्वेरीज फॉर दैट uh yahan pe i just showed you the basic one and uh one by one we'll go to more complexities jahan pe multiple files hai multiple files ke baad different same location staging location pe uh we have uh, different let's say structured or semi structured both files hai we can look at that as well okay so we go by pattern so uh, let me uh, agar ye stage hai mujhe for example ye file format likha maine ye different thing hai Ab, abhi i'll i'll write a pattern pattern is equal to yahan pe fir i'll give the file so mujhe uh, sales underscore data डॉट सीएसबी से लेना है, ओके? आई जस्ट वांट टू गेट इट फ्रॉम दिस फाइल, सो लेट लेट डू दैट, आई विल जस्ट अपलोड बोथ द फाइल्स देयर, 
यहाँ पे लेट्स एड टू फाइल्स ओके एंड सी हाउ इट वर्क्स सो दिस इज द फाइल सेल्स डेटा सैंपल एंड आई हैव सेल्स डेटा दीज आर द ओनली टू फाइल्स आई हैव ओके मेक इट इट हियर गो बैक there is again one more option okay upload it both the files i'll go here okay and now i just want to list the stage first so it will show me two files can you see this it's showing me two files correct now i created a file format which is already there uh, i'm trying to fetch the data from here so it's giving me all the numbers with both the files in the file format that i give uh, i want to add one more thing here is skip header so if i write the skip header what's going to happen is uh, it, when i fetch it will automatically have skip the first column right yahan pe aata wo chala gaya abhi now from here the sales data if i say the total number you see how many records 5 6 46 is the total number of records and i want to load copy the data into the table uh you can see that it just loaded only these many records and this i think i should have it file format i think i define to skip header okay i'll just re recreate this table okay so there is no data right now in this table and i am just trying to load the data from this one single file and you can see that it's loaded with uh, how much data 28 it's a refresh
Okay. Oh, it's not loaded. Okay. Uh, I want to stop here. Uh, I need to go outside, but uh, I'll keep you posted here on this. This we'll see the more complex scenarios from here onwards where we load the data from multiple files and uh, multiple formats. So main important thing is the file format. How do you define the file format that drives which data you want to load? Okay. Any question? I need to go in the next 15 minutes. Uh, is there any question? Can you please put on the WhatsApp chat? Hello. Yep. So we put the dollar one for one column. It shows only one column. So if, yes. if we have a file and it has a multiple columns, then what we should try? So dollar two dollar three. It's dollar is basically the number column number that you want to show. Okay, yes, sir. If you want to show the dollar column number three, you can put dollar three. If you want to show one and two, then dollar one dollar two. Okay. Yes, Let me send you the notes that way. Uh, you will be able to easily understand this all. Otherwise, uh, right now you may understand it, but easily forget it. आगे पढ़ते जाएंगे, but पीछे भूलते जाओगे वो बात. So best to I'll send you the notes. Um, and you can refer those notes. Hello. Yep. Uh, so you are going to say uh, if you told that you will say that how to save those world credentials for the long time because whenever we save it and another day we another day we tried for those world credentials then they are yeah. not there so, okay. so what i am doing uh, instead of using this i am setting up a uh, vault and other thing on aws account uh, on free tier so that you can use it and i'll give you access to that so instead of using uh on your local desktop, use it from that EC2 instance. It will cost me a little, but uh, better to have that one place. Okay, Which will be persistent. The data, uh, vault ka data uh, gaya nahi hoga. Wo all, when, if it's uh, up and running, even if you restart, the data will be there. Okay, so I'm going to stop. Sorry for uh, uh, moving fast. I need to go out and I'll connect with you later. Or please ping me on uh, WhatsApp uh, any questions that you have. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Thank you, sir. 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 Thank you, sir.